Hello everyone, my name is Samantha Lamb and this is a quick tutorial to help students and families get logged in to a Chromebook. To get started, push the power button. If it doesn't instantly begin, wait 30 seconds and then press it again. From there, you will see a message that says, this device is managed by jcsnc.org. Your student will need to click the next button. From the next screen, they will begin by logging in with their username and password. The student's username is the first part of their email only. This is going to be the first letter of their first name, the first three letters of their last name, followed by the last four numbers of the student's user ID, which is their PowerSchool number. For example, if their name is Alexander Hamilton, it'll be A-H-A-M with the last four digits of the number. For the password, if your student is in grades K through three, their formula is the same initials, so the first letter of the first name, first three letters of the last name, followed by the month and date of birth in a four-digit format. If your student is in grades four or higher, they will have a unique password that they have created through the JCPS ID portal. So once they enter that username and password, your student will click sign in. Once they do that, six tabs will automatically load. The first tab is from the student's school. The second tab is going to be the JCPS class link. We'll come back to that. The third tab is going to be district announcements. The fourth tab is going to be online resources for your student. The fifth tab is their email. And their sixth tab is their Google Drive where all of their work is stored. For today's tutorial, we're going to use the second tab, JCPS Class Link. If your student's teacher is teaching with Google Classroom, they will need to click the icon in the top right corner that says Google Classroom. From there, they will click I'm a student, and after that, they will click the plus button in the top right corner to join their first class. From there, they will need to enter a code that their teacher has given them to join the class. Now, if the teacher is using Canvas to teach virtually, they will need to click the red icon in the top left corner. The student's NC Ed Cloud username is their 10 digit user ID number, again, that PowerSchool number. Their password is a unique rapid identity password. Teachers sometimes set generic passwords for the class, so if you're not sure, ask your teacher. You definitely want to know what your child's 10-digit PowerSchool number is and their email address. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know and have a great year.